It is a well-known fact about humans that we love to touch stuff, especially when they're wrapped in adorable packages. What we have to learn one of these days is that not everything is meant to be touched. I'm sure you've heard stories of people getting critically injured after an unfortunate encounter with certain animals. How do you know which animals to avoid touching, though? I mean, we just can't stop touching all animals, right? That's crazy! Well, don't fret. We've compiled a list of some of the most dangerous creatures to avoid. In today's video, we will go through 10 of these animals and just how dangerous they are. Without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Number 10. The Poison Dart Frog This little hopper may look like the cutest little frog in the world, and indeed it is among the world's most colorful creatures. However, a typical poison dart frog packs enough poison to incapacitate 10 adult males. Central America has some of the most biodiverse landscapes on the planet. Much of this flora and wildlife is poisonous, as you may have noticed. The poison dart frog is one of such toxic animals. This little froggy is clearly not something you want to touch. And what would happen if you actually touched it? You'd get a huge glimpse of death, to be sure. It's feasible that you'll make it. The animal is quite lethal. Their highly colored bodies are referred to as aposematic by biologists, meaning that their bright colors warn other creatures to keep away. You should take note. If you don't believe us, however, you can try a little experiment and pet one if you ever see it. At number 9, a puss moth. When you see a pretty bug, you may feel compelled to touch it. That need is evident in our society. However, with many of these bugs, we need to know whether we can touch them or not. We are unable to do so in this instance. While it may appear fuzzy and irresistibly charming, the puss moth, named by its likeness to a cat, is anything but charming. The larva's nice-looking fur conceals a hidden collection of spines that are designed to kill and injure. When pricked by them, the area they hurt causes excruciating pain. With time, the anguish will only intensify and expand. Breathing difficulties as well as headaches and nausea may be part of your body's reaction. This is just disappointing because if I ever see a moth as cute as this, I would not be able to stop myself from touching it. At number 8, the Brazilian Wandering Spider. The majority of us have no great desire to reach out and touch arachnids. The odd arachnologist, on the other hand, may have these desires. Fortunately for them, the majority of spiders that we are aware of will not kill you if they bite you. Some, on the other hand, will. And this spider, the Brazilian Wandering Spider, is perfectly capable of doing so. Without antivenom, a spider bite can quickly result in death. It does, however, depend on the amount of venom you are injected with. What makes matters worse is that these spiders hate sitting around for prey. Instead, they go out and actively hunt, scouring the jungle floors for prey. If you have a fondness for spiders, you may want to keep an eye out for this wanderer. At number 7, the Blue Ringed Octopus Many of us would like to hold a blue ringed octopus in our hands. It's lovely, little, and some could even call it adorable. The blue ringed octopus is blue and ringed for a reason. And that reason is this, as you may have guessed, because it is extremely lethal. Yikes! The opossumatic color of the blue ringed octopus is similar to that of a poison dart frog. In the end, this indicates that the creature is attempting to warn predators about the dangers of messing with it. Everyone should follow this advice and remain as far away as possible. Otherwise, you could find yourself in a very horrible situation. At number 6, a Japanese Giant Hornet The Japanese Giant Hornet is well named. It's huge, Japanese, and a hornet. And as you might think from a gigantic beast with a venomous stinger, you shouldn't approach it. That is unless you enjoy being stung by such venomous creatures. In any case, the Japanese Gigantic Hornet is a unique bee species. This bee grew to be roughly two inches long rather than the smaller cousins. Considering that the thing can fly and attack you, if you see one of these buzzing through the air, you should quickly turn away and flee. At number 5, a box jellyfish. Now, many of the creatures we've discussed thus far are easily visible. As a result, they're at least a little easier to avoid touching. However, we are focusing on a species that is so small and difficult to see. Be cautious when he's around. 
The box jellyfish, which may be found off the coasts of Indonesia and Australia, is a small little jellyfish with one of the world's most infamous stings. Getting stung in the water by this guy can cause complete paralysis. Given this, we strongly advise you never to touch. At number 4, a tarantula hawk. One of the most dangerous creatures on the earth is the tarantula hawk. Why? Because it treats tarantulas as though they aren't special. And anyone who's ever seen a tarantula knows this is no easy task. It's extremely astonishing to treat a tarantula like a small, pleasant delicacy that can shelter your babies while they grow. But it's not just remarkable, it's also scary. The tarantula hawk, for example, was originally cited by Charles Darwin as a source of terror. Seeing something like this made him think of nature and the powers it wields as heartless and apathetic. He wasn't entirely wrong. The tarantula hawk, no matter how you look at it, is not something you want to mess with. Number 3. The Bullet Ant The bullet ant is one of the most dangerous insects on the planet. The animal is like an alligator in the world of the tiny, with a pair of mandibles that can grasp and hold with a terrifying amount of pressure. This, along with the fact that it can sting, renders the creature virtually untouchable. Another factor that makes this particular ant unappealing to the touch is that, like all ants, they live in colonies. One sting or bite from one of these ants is likely to set off a full-fledged assault by tens of thousands of worker ants. A downpour of painful stings, a firestorm, and a miserable time would be the result. Please don't touch anything closely resembling this critter. At number 2, the kissing bug. Kissing bugs are known for their love of blood. If a kissing bug gets a hold of you, it sucks as much blood as it can carry in its belly. This tiny little bug may look shiny, but it carries an extremely infectious disease that is unknown to most people. If you get too close to this bug, you might get a painful bite that will change the outlook of the rest of your life. Much like a mosquito, a lot of punch is packed into the bite of a kissing bug, which is mostly known as the triatamine bug. A gift from this insect can lead to a disease known as Chagas disease. The parasite responsible for this disease is quite a wicked one. It eventually destroys the host's heart and digestive system. Another dangerous thing about getting bitten by this bug is that it shows absolutely no symptoms on the host's body. That's not really a chance you want to take. And at number one, the Indian red tail scorpion. Finally, we get to our top spot, which is occupied by one of the most dangerous scorpions in the world. This scorpion can be found throughout most of India and Pakistan. They live mostly in the vegetation, but you can find them quite often near human settlements. The red-tailed scorpion can range from a bright red to a dull brown, which gives it the perfect camouflage to give unwary trespassers quite a shock. From a certain angle, you might think these arachnids are cute, but you better be warned before approaching. The venom of a red-tailed scorpion can cause symptoms ranging from pain, vomiting, and even breathlessness. It acts on the lungs and the circulatory system. If a sting from this arachnid is left untreated, it can be fatal. Well, that's it. You've gotten a fair warning. If you ever come across any of these animals, be sure to run away. If you can't run, you might as well start saying your prayers. Let us know what you think about these creatures in the comment section below. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one.